attached panels I use in the media closet or network closet, whatever you call it, want to call it. It's um, a real handy way of being able to customize all your different ports. There are many different keystones. Key, keystones are the little or modules are the little devices that go in a patch panel. There's even blank patch little keystones, blank keystones. There's keystones with holes in them so you can customize and build your own keystone. This one is a 3.5 millimeter keystone that is that I assembled. These are purchased keystones, 3.5 millimeter. that have little spring terminals on the back where the one I made you'd have to solder it. These are coax feed throughs. The blue means that it is certified for 3 gigahertz. You have HDMI feed throughs. You have audio, RCA, audio RCA jacks. You have binding posts. Binding post right here. That little banana jacks or plugs will go into, or you un screw these and you can stick your wire through a hole and tighten this down or bind it down and it takes for a stereo speaker it takes two wires a red and a black so for every wire with binding posts you have to have two ports this type of little audio jack stereo jack it has both wires in one port you have to solder on the back of it, right here. It can be tedious. You also have Ethernet. Ethernet keystones or modules. They come in many different colors. These are IDC insulation displacement connection back here where you terminate your wires makes a nice clean install they also have telephone jacks these are telephone jacks telephone jacks have six wires or six conductors up here where Ethernet have eight if these are patch panels, you can buy empty ones. Blank patch panels. This is 16 port. They make 12 port, 8 port, 32, 24, 48. This particular patch panel, ICC brand, has plastic inside of it so that when you insert your keystone, it is flush on the face. Makes a real nice clean look, but I like being able to take them in and out very easily. This could be a little fragile. It's not too hard to do with this little awl, but it could be a challenge. Also, this particular one you notice the front of it, the very small distance between, uh, not even eighth inch, between each of the ports. You can use keystones that are like this, that don't have a, a shoulder, that are very narrow. But if you have a keystone that has a bit of a shoulder to it, then 
it's not going to want to. It won't fit. See this keystone? It has some pretty good shoulders to it. Focus it. It has some shoulder width that stick out past this little frame. This will not fit in one of these patch panels. This patch panel is called high density. High density. And you can see that this would interfere with the next port, the ports on each side of it. So this patch panel only works with high density keystones or keystones that don't have a shoulder. My favorite probably is the 16 because it gives me some good space width between for me to manage my different devices. And you can put however many of them in there you want. These are rack mountable, 19 inch rack mountable. Work in any, any rack. So they sure make a nice, clean, neat media closet or network closet or wiring closet. <laughs>